can businesses afford to take their time, to be more cautious, more prudent? What should their key priority be? Well, well the direct answer is we can't afford it. We're running out of time. And uh, the music stops playing. I mean, you talk about the kit in the candy store, but there isn't much candy anymore. So also for businesses itself, uh, people are starting to realize that there aren't any jobs on a dead planet, that uh, you can't have infinite growth on a finite planet. So, so we're not going fast enough, and there are not enough companies. And just to mention 50 companies doing this or 100 companies doing that, it's just wasting our time. We need to get it at scale. And it can only happen if we make structural changes to the way we operate our economic systems. What needs to happen? Well, we need to, first and foremost, we need to have a, a multilateralism that functions. If that doesn't function, I think there's a big bottleneck that business cannot solve by itself. Um, we have not given vaccines to the emerging markets. We've not given a 100 billion fund on climate. We are not really giving them fin financing right now. We make a loose statements without commitments on loss and damage. Um, the solidarity that we see globally is not there. So one of the things we need to drastically see is a change of the multilateral financing system, the way the international institutions work. The second thing we need is, is really get climate change higher on the agenda. We've, we've discussed for 30 years in, in climate, uh, you know, COP27 is basically 28 years of, of talking this, and we still came out of uh, uh, Sharm el Sheikh where I was without an agreement to reduce fossil fuel. And give me a break. So, so it's outright disappointing what we're getting. So we need to get climate on the agenda. And I think we need to get uh, business uh, to significantly change their social contract with society and, and require from business that, uh, that they deliver on more than just the bottom line.